What's going on everyone? Today we're going to create this mountain parallax interaction in Webflow. Let's get to it. All right, so here's the interaction we're going to be working with. So there are going to be three steps involved. First, we're going to create our assets. Then we're going to add our assets to Webflow and develop it out. Third, we're going to add interactions. And that's it. So I'm not going to go through the whole process of how I created my assets, but I'll just briefly show you what I did. I opened up Photoshop, imported the pictures, and then created masks around the mountains. That should leave us with an alpha channel behind it. Once we have the mountain with the alpha channel, we can then export it out as a PNG. So we should be left with three different assets. One, a sky background, two, the back mountain, and three, the front mountain. And that's it. Step two, let's import them to Webflow. Once you've imported them, we're going to start off, like most tutorials, by creating a div. We're going to make it 120 viewport width, and then 110 viewport height. We're gonna make it a flex and then vertically center and center. Now we can add the sky background and we're gonna make it a cover image. You can center it if you'd like. Next, we're gonna add our two images. First, our back mountain. We're gonna make it 120 viewport width, absolute, full, and then we're gonna make the Z index four. That is important. Next, let's add our second image. This is our front mountain. We're going to do the same viewport height, 120. Make it absolute, full, but the Z index is going to be 6. All right, we've got our three assets added. Now on to step three. Let's add the interaction. Let's add the mouse move over element interaction. Your numbers here might be a little bit different than mine since your image sizes are going to be different, but just play around with it and see what looks nice. So when the mouse is all the way on the left side of the screen, it'll be negative 265. And then when it's all the way on the right side of the screen, it'll be negative 152. And then we'll add y-axis interactions. So when it's on the top of the screen, it'll be negative 213. And when it's on the bottom of the screen, it'll be zero. All right, now let's click our image one. On the left side of the screen, it'll be negative 30. And the right side, it'll be zero. And for image two, the left side will be 178 and then the right side will be negative 117. All right, so now we can just test out our interactions to make sure that they're working, and they are. So to add a finishing touch, let's add a header, text, and a button. I have some preset classes that I made previous to making this tutorial, but you can just make them look nice. The one important step is to make sure that the header and the text are on the Z index of five, which will put them in between the two mountains. So the front mountain can go above it, but it'll always be in front of the back mountain. The button you're gonna to wanna to make sure is on the Z index of seven. That's gonna make sure that it's always on top of everything because you don't want the button, the call to action, to go behind anything. And let's just check to make sure it's working fine, and it is. So this was a pretty simple animation. You can get some pretty cool stuff once you get the hang of it, so I recommend just play around with it, see what you get. Uh, other than that, guys, have a great day. We'll see ya.